Once upon a time, there was a very famous priest in a small village. He misguided the people of the village into false ways of worship. He believed in sacrificing animals as part of worship and forced people into it. One day, he decided to sacrifice a goat. Here, take this goat to the river. Give him a good bath. Decorate him with flowers and bring him. We will act according, according to your instructions, instructions master. master. You two have your bath and come neatly dressed. Yes, yes master. master. The goat, who was listening to all this, understood that the time had come for him to die. He thought of a plan to escape, but he thought it would not be possible to run away from the servants. The servants took the goat to the river and gave him a bath. The goat thought of an idea. Suddenly, he started to laugh. Hi, look! The goat's laughing! Stupid one! Why are you laughing? The goat understood that its idea had worked. It stopped laughing and started crying. The servants were even more shocked. Fool! Why are you crying now? If you don't tell me the reason, I will kill you right away. The goat picked up courage and spoke back. Kill me here itself. No problem. What has happened to him? He is not bothered about his death. Tell us now why you laughed and then cried. I thought about your master. That made me cry. That's it. How dare you speak about him like that? We will take him to our master. The servants took him to their master. Master, while we were giving bath, this goat started to laugh and after a while began to cry. When we asked him why he was crying, he told us that he cried because he thought of you. The priest was annoyed. You stupid goat, you do not have brains or anything. Tell me what made you laugh and cry. you are going to sacrifice me today. When I was having my bath, the memory of my previous words came to me by your power. The servants were dumbfounded. In my previous birth, I was like you and I killed a goat. So, I am now born as a goat. If you kill me, my sin is removed and I will be reborn in this world as a great scholar. As I have suffered humiliations in this birth as a foolish goat. This made me happy. That's why I laughed. Enough of your boasting. Tell me what made you cry. Master, now, in this birth, you are committing the same mistake that I did in my previous birth. So in your next birth, you will be reborn as a goat and will be killed by someone else. Thinking about this, I felt sad. Tears rolled down my eyes. The priest and the servants were equally shocked. Master, you are a great priest now. I don't want you to be reborn as a fool like me in your next birth. I am sorry, dear goat. I will not kill you. The goat felt very happy. Servants, untie him. Set him free. Master, the village elders would have by now come with their goats for sacrifice. What shall we tell them? They are committing the mistake because our master has asked them to do so. Our master
master will have as many goat birds as the number of goats sacrificed. Ask them to take their goats back fast. I don't want to see anyone. The goat was very happy that it was able to teach a proper lesson to the priest and also help other goats from being killed. Braveness, even in adverse conditions, will confer victory in one's endeavors.